Hi everyone, this is Callie. Thanks so much for joining me today. We have a Simon Says Stamp Stamp Timber exclusive release tonight with Lawn Fawn. I'm so excited to share this card with you. We have these adorable Eat, Sleep, and Be Merry sloths. And we're going to be creating a fun card with these images suspended in a frame. So it doesn't look like much from the photos. So I'm glad you're here to watch this video because you'll see how they can be a little bit interactive with some movement. To get started on my card today, we're going to be stamping the images. And I've used the Misty and stamped my images using Lawn Fawn's Jet Black Ink. And I'm going to quickly speed through the coloring process. It's very simple. I mean, all the sloths are brown. The branches are brown. The only pops of colors that I'm really adding in there are the pops of red on the holiday hats as well as that teal scarf. I did stamp that thought or dream bubble with cookies and milk and I did color it but ended up not using it. So I'm gonna cut that completely out of the video wherever I can. So now we have this tropical leaves backdrop frame and I'm gonna ink blend twice so that I can die cut that frame twice and then flip one of the panels to give it an offset, more dimensional look. So I'm ink blending here with Cracked Pistachio as well as Lucky Clover, and I'm gonna do a blend from dark to light. So the top portion here that you see is gonna be the dark Lucky Clover, and it's gonna fade down into the Cracked Pistachio. The two ink blended panels look almost identical, but the way I die cut, I'm gonna make sure that they are different and the colors are opposite of one another so that when stacked, you get a lot more dimension and colors with shading. To give these panels a little bit more interest, I am squishing some Lucky Clover Distress Oxide ink onto an acrylic block, adding a few drops of water, and then picking that ink up to splatter all over these two frames. Next up, for the background, I am using a Watercolor Wishes patterned paper panel. I've picked out this yellow because I figured that it would be an easy blend from a pink to a green. So I'm using Worn Lipstick Distress Oxide ink and I'm just ink blending the top to fade into that yellow. And then using Cracked Pistachio to ink blend the other side to blend from the green into the yellow. This makes it a triad of colors that is beautiful for a sunset and is perfect for the backdrop of my card today. I'm going to go ahead and adhere one of those frames down. We don't want it to hinder the mechanism that I'm going to make in any way, so we want to make sure that that whole thing adheres to that background panel really well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then before we use that second frame, I'm going to go ahead and lay out my images and make sure I have them exactly where I want them. And once I know, I'm going to use some Glad Press and Seal and hold it all in place so that the position doesn't change. And what I'll do here is use some invisible thread, and this is what's gonna help suspend these images on our card. And what I'm gonna do is hold that thread in place and adhere some foam tape to the back of it. This foam tape backing is not gonna be removed at all. That's really there to just prop up my images and hold that invisible thread in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish with all three. I've left plenty of extra slack for the invisible thread. And now I'm gonna attach some double-sided adhesive to the top and bottoms of my frames because this is what's gonna hold the thread in place once I position my images behind this frame. I'm tucking in the excess glad press and seal right now, but you can always cut it off. I just didn't want it to get in the way of that adhesive that I put on the frame. So now I'm gonna work from the top down and I'm working on that sloth in the center towards the top. And I am just pulling the thread, not too tight, with a little bit of give so that they can adhere to the frame at the top and the bottom with the excess thread that I've hung on these images so that they can suspend once I remove the Glad Press and Seal. Once everything is in place, I can remove that Glad Press and Seal and you will see that these sloths are just hanging out in the middle of the frame and you can kind of shake them back and forth and make the card super fun. All right, so I'm gonna lay this back down and then I'm gonna put foam adhesive all the way around. We have the foam tape behind these sloths holding them in place and so we wanna match that height with the same foam adhesive. And now I'm just removing the excess thread that's hanging off the edges and just cutting off all the excess knowing that there is double-sided tape holding it there as well as foam adhesive. 
Once I'm done positioning everything, I'm just gonna remove the backing on the frame only and then adhere it to my ink blended background. Again, we don't remove the backing on the sloths because we want them to move back and forth freely. I'm gonna stamp that sentiment, eat, sleep, and be merry, and then I'm gonna chop it up so that I can stagger the words in the open spaces on my card. And you'll notice at the very bottom, I add two pieces of foam tape, and that's because I don't want it to be over the invisible thread, which you can see up close and in person. So I've left the thread and some space for it, and then I'm gonna attach the sentiment right over that. Last but not least, I'm gonna use some adhesive and attach this card to a card base, and we're done with our suspended card. This is such a fun stamp set, and I hope you enjoyed how I've used it to inspire you to create with this stamp set. Be sure to check out the Stamp Timber blog. All the details are on my blog as well, and the links are in the description box below. Give this video a thumbs up, and I would love it if you'd subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Thanks so much for stopping by and for hanging out with me today. Have a good day. Bye.